Okay, here we are near Sapphire, North Carolina, the Carolina Mountains. I come to this location about four or five times a year for a long weekend. And I frequently set up my Globe Trotter, formerly called the Transworld 2010. Try to take you over to it get a better view of it. Since I'm here so often, I buried a pipe in the ground and just stick the mast down in the ground and then reassemble the uh, Ed Teta, hook up the control cable and the coax cable. And then we just go inside and turn on the transmitter and transmit. SWRs are always almost one to one, except on uh, 20 meters, it's for one portion of the band, not the entire band. You can see the top section here. I think I hope I'm getting that. Takes longer to run the control cable and the coax and it does to set up the antenna. Having used this antenna now for five or six years, uh, the anecdotal reports that I've gotten about it hearing, being heard better than it can hear, do appear to be, uh, have some basis in fact. I got uh, calls from people telling me there were JAs trying to get to me and I couldn't hear them. But this antenna is certainly portable, not backpackable, I would call it that. It's way too heavy and too big, but it is portable and it is durable. It does what it says it does. Very pleased to have it as part of my uh, equipment inventory. 73 K-A-D-A-B